This is Total Television at the Broadband World Forum and we're with Andy Lockhart of Calix. Andy, we spoke to you almost exactly a year ago, your first appearance at Broadband World Forum. You've had quite a 12 months, I think. They've been a busy 12 months, Brian. We've been busy with our global expansion, Calix really taking our business globally. Uh, when we spoke 12 months ago, Calix was a, and is a company with a lot of strength in the North American market and North American market leadership. But since then, we've expanded our business so we're now on six continents. Uh, we've pushed our business into Europe where we would had a little bit of a footprint. Um, we've continued our expansion in the Middle East, uh, now into Asia, in South America, in Africa and continued our success in Australia. So it's been a significant and busy 12 months. Interesting is that the type of customer that we've been able to capture has been quite varied. Uh, rural service providers, business providers, recently our announcement of a cable provider in Belgium with the new Maracabal announcement. So a very significant breadth of customers as well. Yeah, what are you finding they're looking for? What are the opportunities that you're discovering? Well, as you know, Calix brings a enablement of the next generation of service providers, the winners. And mostly they are looking at pushing fiber forward in their network to offer IP-based services over Ethernet with fiber and wireless as the access technology. So we're seeing them take that approach and offer things like residential, fiber to the home, business services, mobile backhaul, and in some cases combining multiple services so they get the benefit of Calix's unified access network. One infrastructure lets them get a return on their investment and lets them extend to multiple services off the same infrastructure. So that seems to be catching good hold. So you're getting a real breadth of opportunities for the solutions you provide. Absolutely. Now you've got a lovely new stand here, a uh, very bright and a very impressive area of, of the booth. Um, what for you have been some of the main themes this week? Well clearly here at Broadband Forum, uh, here in Europe, the focus is on VDSL vectoring bonding technologies and the role that the incumbent operators play in terms of trying to maximize their investment in copper. Uh, and as Calix, with our E72 platform, we offer the ability um, with a leading VDSL solution to play a role there. So that's been significant. But equally, um, we see operators looking at pushing fiber forward, being a more disruptive player in the market. So I think there's an interplay between the incumbent approach and the approach that some of the more aggressive fiber-led operators might be taking. Well, I'm sure you could help them, whatever, whatever, whatever opportunities there are. So uh, what do you think about the next 12 months? Where do you think Calix will be when we talk next year? Well, for the next 12 months will be about capturing and uh, continuing our growth with new customers and our footprint uh, with new customers, satisfying the ones that we've already um, won and continuing to build on their success, um, but certainly extending the steady quarter-to-quarter -quarter growth in customers around the world. Um, on top of that, I'd say it's about our partner model, where we've, uh, over the course of this past year, put in place a number of global or, or uh, local partners to go to market in individual countries. And we'll continue with that development of the skills and the enablement of those partners. And of course, we've added to that the possibility of the Ericsson relationship, where we've signed a global reseller agreement with Ericsson and we're already getting some traction with that. And of course we expect uh, the announcement to acquire Ericsson's broadband assets to uh, conclude here in Q4 as well. So that'll offer new possibilities. So lots to play for. We're looking forward to it. Should be a great uh, 12 months to come. It sounds like there's never a dull moment at Calix. Um, and in the meantime, thanks for speaking with us. Thank you, Brian.